Welcome to the Netherlands, a place where bikes rule the roads, tulips brighten the fields, and water is both a friend and a foe. Ever wondered how a country with so much land below sea level manages to stay afloat? Well, you're about to find out. Today, we're diving into the story of the Waudagemal, the world's largest still operational steam pumping station. It's over a century old and still pumping water like a champ. Stick around to see how Dutch engineering and determination have kept people's feet dry for generations. So here's the thing about the Netherlands. About a quarter of the country sits below sea level. That's right, if it weren't for dikes, pumping stations, and all sorts of clever water management tricks, a huge chunk of this place would be underwater. Historically, windmills helped drain the land, turning swampy marshes into farmland and making life possible in areas that would otherwise be underwater. But the Dutch battle with water is never over. Rising sea levels, heavier rains and storms mean they need to stay on top of flood control at all times. Today, high-tech electric pumps usually do the job. But in Friesland, a province famous for its lakes and farmland, there's one extraordinary old-school solution that still comes to life when the going gets tough. The Wau de Gamal. Let's rewind to 1920. Queen Wilhelmina herself came to open this giant steam-powered pumping station. It was designed by engineer D.F. Wouda, hence the name. Built when steam was the big new technology, it was pretty groundbreaking for its time. Picture it, early 20th century, Friesland repeatedly dealing with flooded fields and overflowing canals. Their solution? Build the biggest baddest steam pump imaginable. They constructed the entire station in Lemmer, on the edge of the Eiselmeer. Those beautiful red brick walls, the tall chimneys, and the interior loaded with brass and steel fixtures, it's both functional and surprisingly stylish. In 1998, UNESCO recognized its significance and added it to the World Heritage List. That means the whole world agrees this place is kind of a big deal. So, how does this thing actually work? Instead of flicking a modern switch, the Waudagamal relies on four huge steam engines that drive eight massive pumps. When fired up, it can move roughly six million cubic meters of water per day and push it into the Eiselmeer. Whenever Friesland's water levels get too high, say after a big storm, engineers light up the boilers and let the steam engines rumble into action. You'll hear the hiss of steam, the steady thump of pistons, and maybe feel a little like you've stepped into the golden age of industrial might. Getting the Waudagemal started is a slow, almost ceremonial process. Part art, part science, and absolutely mesmerizing to watch. It begins with lighting the boilers, using coal or a more modern fuel to gradually heat the water and produce steam. Throughout this warm-up, the operators closely monitor pressure gauges to keep things stable. Too little pressure and the engines won't run efficiently, too much and it becomes unsafe. Once the pressure hits that sweet spot, the valves are opened, the pistons roar to life, and the entire station springs into action. Finally, the pumps kick in, drawing in vast amounts of water and forcing it out into the Eiselmeer, steadily lowering water levels. It's a fascinating dance of fire, water, and steam power that feels like stepping back in time. Plenty of historic sites turn into museums, where you can look but not touch. Not the Wau de Gamal. This place still works exactly how it did over a century ago. When the call comes, usually during big storms or extreme water levels, these engines roar back to life, just like they did in 1920. 
Visiting the pump station feels like time travel. The clank of metal, the faint smell of coal, the glint of polished brass, it's all there. This is engineering heritage you can actually hear, feel, and see doing its job. In a world full of cutting-edge tech, wind turbines, solar panels, you name it, why keep an old steam station around? Well, there are three big reasons. Firstly, it's used as an extra backup. Modern pumps are great, but every system has its limits. If there's a massive storm, or one of the newer stations goes down for maintenance, the Wow Dagamal can step in. Secondly, it's a great way for hands-on learning. The Wow Dagamal is a dream for engineers and students. Sure, they can read about steam power in textbooks, but here they can watch it in action. It's like seeing a living blueprint of early industrial engineering, providing insights into both the past and the future of water management. And lastly, it's simply a cultural treasure. Recognized by UNESCO, the Wau Dagamal is part of the Netherlands' identity. It's a symbol of the nation's ongoing battle with water, an inspiring story of craftsmanship, persistence and grit. Plus, tourists love it, so it helps pump some extra life into the local economy. Environmental concerns might pop up. Burning coal isn't exactly green, but remember, this station isn't running 24-7. It's mainly there for emergencies, training and special demos. Most of the time, modern cleaner pumps handle day-to-day -day water control. The Wauwdagemal isn't just an old pump station. It's a living chapter in the Netherlands' epic tale of keeping dry land dry. In a country famous for windmills, dikes and canals, this steam-driven masterpiece stands out as a testament to the Dutch we'll figure it out attitude when it comes to water. It's a nod to the past, still playing a very real role in the present. So next time someone asks, how do the Dutch keep from being swallowed by the sea? You can tell them about this colossal steam machine that still fires up to protect fields, homes and businesses. It's a reminder that sometimes the old ways can still save the day and inspire the future. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Dutch history and innovation. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe and stick around for more awesome stories from our tiny country.